Hello guys, welcome back here yet again um, to Late Night Frights. This is the Jason or Jordan back here to do another video for you. And I do believe this is the last um, review video for right now. Um, just for me to do right now because I'm all done up right now until somebody else does another review video. And uh, it's Jake Voorhees, my second leader on here. One of my best friends on YouTube. Um, he reviewed, and I'm glad he did, um, Halloween 2. Now, um, I just want to show you really quick before we get any further, I do have the Blu-ray of Halloween 2. Uh, I want to watch Terror in the Isles. That's one thing I want to see on there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not. But Halloween 2, the Blu-ray. haven't seen it on Blu-ray, but I will just show this film since everyone else did. Halloween 2, 1981. Um, you know, if most of you who already know me, you know I'm the biggest Halloween movie fanatic. They're one of the biggest fans, biggest Halloween fans there is uh, here on YouTube. Uh, well, I'm not going to say here on YouTube, but I am a big fan of Halloween, the series. It's my favorite horror series of all time. I do believe Halloween started a new genre, um, which is an arguable, arguable debate. But then we get Halloween 2 in 1981. And, uh, I'm going to give my opinion and my review on that. So, anyways, this film picks up right after it left off in Halloween, the 1978 original John Carpenter classic. Um, and I was glad that it picked off right there. Uh, right after that one, I was really glad that it picked off. Now, to me, I think that, I'm not going to say this film is, you know, I'm, I'm the original to me is the best there ever there was the best there ever will be um so this is in my opinion not better than the original equally as an entertaining that is my word for this equally as entertaining and this one michael myers starts to become more brutal and it starts to get gritty i absolutely love the mask in this one you know the dick warlock um that was probably my favorite mask out of the series until h2o um but the Dick Warlock look in this was awesome. Um, in this one also you get the story plot to where Michael Myers has a reason for trying to kill Jamie Lee Curtis, Lori Strode. That's his sister. And you know, all, every, all the audience was shocked about that. And that really picked up. So this movie actually, this could have been a, a make it or break it situation for the Halloween series. And I'm going to mention that this could have been a make it or break it, you know. Let's go back to that night where John Carpenter said he's sitting with a six-pack of beer in front of him. And he wrote this up to where Laurie Strode was Michael Myers' sister. If he had not done that, I think a whole generation would have been missing out on a series that is the best horror series in my opinion. That's my opinion. Um, the sequels, all of the sequels were pretty good. This is my favorite sequel by far. Halloween 2 is just... An amazing film overall, you know, a, a well-rounded film, and I think they did a good job. John Carpenter, Deborah Hill, amazing job. Like, I will agree with Jake, the music is uh, um, really good. I like the music in this one. I like the different kill tools he used in this one. You know, the first one, it was a knife. Um, in this one, he uses a scalpel, uh, a hammer, uh, boiling water. That scene always got to me. First of all, it got to me because the woman was very, 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 very hot. The next thing, when he burned her face off, that was like, oh my god. He just fucked her up, like, bad. And he did. Um, but that scene was always awesome to me. Bud, Bud gets out to change the water temperature. <laughs> Anyways, it, it was just a, a really well-rounded well film. Um, you can tell the budget was a lot bigger on this one than it was in 1978. You know, $300,000 was the budget in the original. Uh, we bring back Donald Pleasance, which... I get chills when I see Donald Pleasance uh, perform in uh, the Halloween series. It's, he's just... The first one, especially. Just Dr. Loomis couldn't have been played any better by anyone... Anyone better. Or <laughs> couldn't have been played any better by any actor, in my opinion. Um... Just an amazing film. One that I think personally changed horror history. And that's my opinion. Uh, you know, like it or hate it. Learn to love it. Or learn to live by it. Or learn to hate it. Whatever. Comment below. Tell me what you guys thought about my review or my opinion on Halloween 2. It's Jay Sloan. Or...
it's the Jay Sloan back here um, saying comment subscribe guys keep it horror oh and one more thing tonight we are officially starting the DVD battles um, which that'll be up next so just stay tuned hold on to your seats and be prepared for the DVD, the new series DVD battles. This is Jay Sloan. Thank you for watching Late Night Props. Keep a horror, guys. Peace.